Welcome to our exploration of the 1945 movie, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. As we delve into this classic film, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. You'll encounter moments that'll make you laugh, shock you, and perhaps even bring a tear to your eye. So buckle up and keep watching for some fascinating facts. One question to ponder which classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? As we discuss this timeless piece, we're curious can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Afterwards, we'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Share your stories and memories in the Kamala entrance below. Get ready for an unforgettable journey down memory lane with A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a classic movie that premiered in 1945. The story is set in Brooklyn during the early 20th century and revolves around the Nolan family, particularly Francie Nolan, a young girl with dreams of a better life. The plot follows the struggles and triumphs of the Nolan family as they navigate poverty, education, and the challenges of growing up in a tough neighborhood. Francie Nolan is the main character, a determined and resilient young girl who loves to read and write. Her parents, Johnny and Katie Nolan, are struggling to make ends meet, but are determined to provide a better future for their children. Johnny is a charming but unreliable dreamer, while Katie is a practical and hardworking woman who holds the family together. The movie explores themes of poverty, family, education, and the Emil M. Terigrant experience. It highlights the importance of perseverance and the power of imagination in overcoming adversity. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn received critical acclaim for its heartfelt portrayal of the human spirit and was nominated for several awards, including Academy Awards for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actor. Overall, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a timeless tale of hope, resilience, and the bonds of family in the face of adversity. It remains a beloved classic that continues to resonate with audiences around the world. The person featured on the postage stamp with Anne Revere celebrating Best Supporting Actor Oscar winners had family connections in showbiz. He was born to actress Mina Gleason. He had two kids, a daughter named Melinda and a son named Jay. Unfortunately, Jay, who had autism, died young at 26 from choking. These personal facts give us a peek into the actor's life outside of acting, showing the challenges he faced as a parent. While he's known for his role in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn from 1945, it's his personal struggles that reveal his human side. To sum up, the actor's life, marked by family ties and personal difficulties, adds depth to his story beyond just his acting career. It shows how people in the entertainment industry are more than just what we see on screen. A familiar face in westerns and renowned for portraying Irish cops, the actor in focus displayed versatility in roles beyond the 1945 movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. The film's genesis involved a heated bidding war among studios vying for the rights to Betty Smith's novel. Ultimately, Daryl F. Zanuck and 20th Century Fox secured the rights for 55000 Peggy Ann Garner, who portrayed Frankie in the movie, earned a notable distinction. She clinched a special juvenile Oscar for her role, outshining Elizabeth Taylor in National Velvet as the youngest Oscar winner. In Sumo the 1945 movie, apart from its narrative, bears significance in the actor's repertoire, the intense studio competition for rights, and Peggy Ann Garner's notable Oscar achievement. These aspects contribute to the broader understanding of the film and its place in cinematic history. In the 1945 movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, actress Martha Scott began her journey to Broadway after gaining experience in radio. Initially serving as an understudy to Martha Scott in Our Town, she later starred in the domestic comedy Claudia. Beyond her acting career, Scott worked at a bookshop during the late 70s. In September 1952, Scott, also known as Martha Garner, engaged in discussions with 20th Century Fox about returning to the screen in the Jean Negulesco film Titanic. She was considered for the role of Annette Sturges and even met with the film's producer-screenwriter Charles Brackett at Fox to discuss it. However, the role ultimately went to Audrey Dalton. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, released in 1945, features Dorothy, a child star known for her radio work during World War II. Despite her talent, Dorothy's absence from the Oscars in memoriam segment in 22 sparked disappointment. The Academy cited space limitations, but Dorothy's omission raised questions, especially since lesser-known figures were included. However, the British Academy recognized her. In 2010, Dorothy was honored with induction into the Venice Muscle Beach Bodybuilding Hall of Fame. 
A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, a movie from 1945, featured Joan Blondell, who portrayed Aunt Sissy. Blondell considered a particular scene cut from the final film as her best work on screen. In the scene, Aunt Sissy explains the concept of a condom to the Nolan children with compassion. Despite its deletion, Blondell cherished the scene as a significant moment in her career. Notably, Larry Scott, the training partner of the first Mr. Olympia, had a connection with the film. Moreover, on the British sitcom Dad's Army, Private Pike had a crush on Blondell's character, with numerous pictures of her adorning his bedroom walls. In the early 1950s, the movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, directed by Elia Kazan, witnessed Fox executives' interest in reshooting the entire film in Technicolor after being impressed by the initial footage. However, Kazan stood firm and refused the proposal. The movie tells the story of a young girl growing up in Brooklyn, capturing the essence of her experiences and struggles. The director's refusal to reshoot demonstrated his Kamalan treatment to the original vision of the film. During his early years, Katzan attended the Professional Children's School in New York City, which likely influenced his later career in the film industry. Additionally, his experience in fighting California wildfires provides a glimpse into his diverse background and interests. The decision to stick with the original black and white format, despite the executive's suggestion, showcases Kazan's artistic integrity and confidence in the project. This choice ultimately contributed to the movie's unique visual aesthetic and timeless appeal. Despite its release in 1945, the themes explored in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn remain relevant today, resonating with audiences through its poignant storytelling and memorable characters. The film's refusal to conform to industry trends demonstrates Kassan's Kamalan treatment to his artistic vision and the integrity of the storytelling process. In the movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, actress Joan Blondell felt her best performance was as Aunt Sissy. This movie also has connections to other Oscar Best Picture nominees like Dead End, Foreign Correspondent, One Foot in Heaven, Wilson, The Best Years of Our Lives, It's a Wonderful Life, and Friendly Persuasion. Out of these, The Best Years of Our Lives won the Oscar. Additionally, in another context, the discus was thrown 151 feet, surpassing the top IU distance of 156 feet. Overall, Joan Blondell considered her portrayal of Aunt Sissy in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn as her standout performance. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, a 1945 movie, tells the story of a young girl named Francie Nolan and her family living in Brooklyn during the early 20th century. The movie portrays the challenges they face, including poverty, alcoholism, and the pursuit of education and dreams. The actress who played Francie Nolan was Peggy Ann Garner. Despite her young age, Garner's talent was evident in her ability to portray the character's struggles and triumphs convincingly. Aside from her role in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Peggy Ann Garner had notable achievements in her career. She won the Critics' Award in 1944 for her performance in Once Upon a Time. Additionally, she worked as a trainer at XXXXX's Hollywood Gym. On the other hand, June Allison, who played the role of Francie's mother Katie Nolan, had her own challenges off-screen. Her marriage to theatrical impresario Mike Todd proved to be a tumultuous one. Todd's lavish spending habits, including gambling, led to financial instability and bankruptcy. Despite this, Allison continued to pursue her acting career while navigating personal difficulties. In Sumalantrary, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn remains a significant film that highlights the struggles and resilience of a family in early 20th century Brooklyn. Its portrayal of poverty, dreams, and family dynamics continues to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless classic.